rescue is transdisciplinary science and many of us felt quite uncomfortable in this domain. As an engineer, my background is you know, very much reductionist science. If you look back, uh, science really accelerated when we focused and had disciplinary divisions. Uh, surprisingly, this is relatively recent. If you look right back, science was about natural philosophy, about inquiry. And only more, only really over the last 150 years have we made the rigid divisions. When this report was going through governance, uh, there was actually quite a debate. Was it really science? Was it, uh, was it sufficiently strong? Yet, I think it's this very discomfort that I feel that makes this report worthwhile. Being able to encourage, at a policy level, inclusion across social sciences, humanities and the natural sciences to solve the big problems. And this involves a response in terms of the funding mechanisms that you have. Rescue speaks a lot about the negative changes in the world, about how anthropogenic change has given rise to detriments. Now, this is undoubtedly true. We've caused ourselves problems. However, there have always been great benefits. Mankind has had tremendous benefits from urbanization. And this urbanization can give rise to creativity, necessarily transdisciplinarity, because people meet informally, they meet in coffee houses, they meet in bars, and they meet across sectors of the community that wouldn't otherwise happen. So I actually have great hopes for cities and great hopes for the European model of cities. I think we can be leaders of the world in this regard. Our members probably need to look at funding mechanisms, and after all, our members are the primary funding mechanisms throughout Europe. They need to look at mechanisms that support transdisciplinarity, support integration. That's the message. Thank you.